forcing your eye to look up. Sense. Yes, just like that. Because it makes him, him being down here in the low corner, makes him seem smaller. And if the expanse looks up, it fools you into, with a worm's eye view, it fools you into feeling as if, and, and I say fools, it's, I shouldn't use that word, it's poor choice. It leads you to believe that the Heroica character is small and where he's looking up is huge and there's a lot. So it gives you a sense of overwhel being overwhelmed. And then we look here and we see his hand and it's glowing still because it's glowing because he just used all that power to blast open the door. And here he is looking at these troops. turns around and he's surrounded like what the heck just happened where did these guys pop up from that's kind of magical surprise and then we closed in again do some stuff like that and then we guy sneaks up and starts to grab him we could probably add one or two more guys in here to keep with the cramped feeling so he feels overwhelmed and then shoves that guy hey what's going on here get out of here buddy you don't touch me and then he pun he's gonna punch some dude through the lower abdomen now how we're gonna do this is since the flow of this is we go here then this flows this way i am gonna en i'm gonna enact a trick okay a quick trick all right and i'll use a trick i'll use the word trick in a manner that's not malicious okay so what you do is you go to transform and you go to flip horizontal and that is what they call a reflection you reflect and you go from one side to the other. You make it the opposite of what it is. So what that does is it creates a flow for your eye. Essentially, in America, folks read from left to right. So you want to use graphic storytelling and drawing to lead someone's eye so that they read the page naturally. Uh, it's said often that a good comic book artist or a good cartoonist can tell a story without words. So that's exactly what I want to do. I want to tell the story visually so that when Alex gets a hold of this and his letterer puts in any copy, like word bubbles or descriptions of what's going on, it supports what's being told. So the notes that he gives me and the images that I supply kind of work in conjunction to tell a full story. So we have this lap plus I want it to kind of I want it to show off in this panel if I can just let my ego show for a little bit I wanted to show off and be like oh wow what are you doing there Ned so what I think I can do is because the way the flow works is it goes from here to here all the way over to the right I want to make this kind of a stopping point I want to make this area here be like impactful. I want it to be like, boom, that's a dramatic high point and a great cliffhanger for the next page. So I think what I'm gonna do is this goes up this way. So I think if I'm stopping here, I should read this way. So he's shoving, he's punching somebody through the torso and I think if I do this classic little Superman pose, where he's doing that, and it looks like that, and then kind of doubled over, and he's throwing a punch, and then he's down here with this hand, and bring this leg forward, and then this cape goes like this off the page.
To make things dramatic, you always want to, well, you don't always, it's not really a rule, it's just I find that if I'm going to make things dramatic, I am going to put his stance pretty darn wide. Because the wider a stance is, the more kind of dramatic it seems to me. And then plus this hand could go here. Hit that guy. We'll put a few back here, right? And then remember, there are those pods everywhere, and so we could throw a couple in there. And I think if he just punched through that guy, how about instead of punching through him, even though the script calls for it, what if I show the guy's lower torso down here with like some spinal stuff? Robot circuitry with the spine. I know that looks very penile, but it's you gotta trust me on this, it's not gonna be. So we'll use like this with some weird sort of stance for the legs. And then we'll go like this. Little foot. And then how about that? I punched him so hard I split him in half. Uh, torso, little hand. Holy, what the heck! Now, that looks very unclean and very scribbly, and I agree. But that's why we clean up. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save, save early, save often. I think that's what they used to tell us in college. Always make sure you're hitting Control S. You never know when stuff's going to go down, and you're going to need to revert to your last saved version. And that's kind of what I got for the way this page is laying out. So now I want to keep Alex abreast of everything, and I want him to see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this. Mm. My desktop. I'm going to find. Maverick folder, and we'll go to Heroica, and we'll go to Proofs, and we'll go page two. It's being saved as a JPEG. Quality is at 50%. We'll see that. We'll see that. And just so you're aware, he's asking to see this in January, but I have other things going on. And that's not to say that he's not important. Every one of my commissions is important. It's just that I'm ahead of things and I had to open up for comics today so I wanted to make sure that he got oh man I just realized what I just did I wanted to make sure that he um, 